What's up, guys? My name is Game Taco. We're just hanging out here in Monster Hunter Try in the deserted island. Uh, I got a fresh character here, as you can see. Not wearing anything. Got my short shorts on. Let's go. Let's go ahead and head up to Area Two. What is going on, guys? My name is Game Taco. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna play around with some texture mods on Monster Hunter Tri. Now Tri was uh, kind of the predecessor to th the base version, if you will, of 3 Ultimate. So this was released back on the Wii. I think it was in like 2009 or 2010 or something like that. I don't exactly recall the year. But uh, this, is, this was the first game that actually got me hooked in Monster Hunter. So I have a lot of memories here. And uh, so basically you'll notice that this looks very good for a Wii game. It's actually in high definition and that's because I'm running this on Dolphin. That is a Wii and GameCube emulator. So I used my copy of the game, I made a backup on my PC, and I used a few uh, programs to dig into the game files and do some silly things to them. Uh, just a few things that I've learned so far. One, it feels like everything from before 2013 has just vanished off the internet. It is so hard to find resources. And tutorials and uh, explanations on how to mod the textures of this game. So I, I scoured everywhere. I came across them, came across a lot of really shady websites, but I don't think that there are any high definition resource packs available. Which is that was the purpose of this video at first, but I uh, kind of shifted off a little bit. And uh, the second thing that I learned, and probably the most important, is that I am not an artist by any means kind of cap out at recoloring monsters and bad drawings. So I figured what I'll do for this little video is make some silly textures, fight some monsters, play around with some of the features of dolphins, show you guys everything uh, that you can really do, the possibilities with this, and uh, yeah, so let's get right onto it. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with an arena quest first. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but I hope it looks awesome. Where is he? The, uh, what in the world? Okay, so he kind of looks like he has mange or something. No, wrong button. I'm playing with a uh, Xbox controller, by the way. Also, the little jaggies are super rainbow colors. It's great. Ah, oh, God damn it! I hit the wrong button again. This is not working out. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah, I'm playing with an Xbox controller, and the buttons are a little bit different than what I'm used to. So, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I love the little ones. They're so bright and colorful. They're they're peppy. Okay, I forgot the camera's all wonky, too. Oh, okay. Man, I haven't been in here in a long time. Can we just take a moment and admire how awesome this mask is? Also, real fast, I uh, I kind of made uh, Great Jaggy look like he's in a comic book or something. Those nice dark strokes. But yeah, uh, basically I just took this texture and I just photoshopped it a little bit with some filters. And I hit the wrong button yet again. And now I'm going to get eaten. Alright guys, so I'm back in the arena. I have a different monster this time. Uh, let's go ahead and see what he looks like. Oh my god, is that a Baroth with a pumpkin head? That is correct. That is a Baroth with a pumpkin head. Look at this guy. Oh. And you'll have to excuse my terrible gameplay. Oh, oh well, I mudded, of course. That, that would happen to me. How do I use my items? Oh god. This is not good. Look at his pumpkin head, though. <laughs> of course, he has mud all over him, so you can't really tell, but... I thought it would be funny, and originally I was going to do Uragon, but I didn't really feel like uh, unlocking him in single player or in the arena. Oh god! <laughs> I'm going to die, aren't I? Fun fact, while I was researching this and kind of uh, figuring out ideas and whatnot for textures, I found out that Uragon... Oh! Uragon does in fact have a pumpkin. Uh, like a pumpkin subspecies, I guess you would say. Oh god. Oh god. No! <laughs> and, uh, it's only on Monster Hunter Explore, so I'll have to, I'll have to look into that eventually. 
So one thing I always kind of wondered is uh, the only like gold monster is gold Raytheon, right? And uh, I guess there's Rajang too, but I don't really count that because it's like a transformation. But gold Raytheon is like the only one that's like gold. So I figure, why can't any other monsters be gold? Any other monsters like, I don't know, Legiacris or something maybe? Look at this guy. <laughs> This actually looks a lot better than I anticipated with my quick and crappy Photoshop job. Hey, look at that. The Geochris is a fan. I saw that. You don't have to hide your tats. Let it all hang out. It killed Sweetheart. Oh, no. So this is a mission at the very beginning of the game. Almost at the very beginning. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think she wants me to fight it, right? She wants me to fight it? Oh, God. This is actually terrifying. Ah, oh, crap. Rip. Hit the wrong button again. That's like the bait of my existence right now. Alright. Alright. Okay, I think it's time we, uh, make a strategic retreat. Alright, so we couldn't, uh, I couldn't lure that Legigris up on the land. It's not a big deal, though. I'm just gonna head back to base camp, try to turn in this quest, and get back to town because I'm tired of all these crazy creatures. And would you look at that? Yeah, so while I uh, was recording that Legiacris, um, my encounter with Legiacris, I actually realized how to modify the textures, which is what I was trying to do this entire time. So, I <laughs> look at this. Look, I'm up in the sky. Like, I can't get over this. Everything is taco branded. Look at this. The ground. I don't know why it didn't uh, go on the path. I told it to... I replaced a path-like texture, so I don't know why it didn't go on that, but <laughs> I don't really care because this is hilarious. Look, it's even... <laughs> it's all in the on the, the seafloor and everything. And then, look, <laughs> we got the marshmallow shark on top of our, our tent. Got it on the totem pole in our tent. <laughs> Taco branded pillows. I still need the... I should totally make taco branded pillows. That would be, that would be great. I would buy one. I would buy one of my own taco branded pillows. Speaking of which, who agrees with me that Zamtrios should be a pillow plushie? Really? Like, how is that not a thing yet? I will pay somebody to make it. Look, even even the placemat has a very low res. Can I go over there? I can't go over there. Even the placemat right there has a very low res taco on it. Taco cat. Oh my gosh. This is too much. I can't handle this. Okay, so we're back in the arena, and uh, one thing that I couldn't quite figure out how to do was to make transparency in these textures. So I tried to make a headless Kurupeku, because I thought it would be really funny. But unfortunately, it just turns black. Uh, this is a slightly modified one that I made after I attempted that. Uh, as you can see, it's all red. But there's something that I haven't showed you yet. And, uh, hold on, let me find a safe spot here. Not that, not that, come on. Uh, trying to open up Dolphin here. So, I paused the emulation. And now, in the graphic options here, if you go to Enhancements, there's Post-Processing Effects. Now, these are basically filters that you can apply to the screen. And it renders it in real time with these filters. So, for example, I can make it look like it's a 16-bit game. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Oh, God. Suddenly, Game Boy Advance. <laughs> I'm trying not to die here. We got 32-bit uh, uh, acid metal. I wonder what that looks like. That is very bright and very green. Oh, God. I don't really like that too much. I think this one looks kind of cool. It's kind of subtle at first, but it actually outlines everything like you're playing Borderlands or something. It kind of reminds me of like a cell shaded look. So I think this is a really cool um, filter. This is called Autotune, by the way. Oh God. So this is Autotune too. I, oh my gosh, this is, I think I'm on fire. Yeah, I'm on fire, okay. This is very hard to see. I can't see anything. It kind of looks cool, though. I like how the Jaggies are still rainbow. 
This is called darker brighter. I guess it makes the darks darker and the brights brighter or something. I'm not exactly too sure. Kind of interesting looking. Not a huge fan of it though. This one is called Spooky. And it is, it is literal fuchsia. This one should just be called fuchsia. This one's called Inverted Outline. I couldn't imagine playing like a game like this though. Again, I love the look of the Jaggies. Who knew that just painting them rainbow colored would be the best thing I've ever done in my life. This one is called Posterize, which is uh, yet another Photoshop filter. So this basically just combines similar colors from what I understand. All right, so this last one is called Mad World, as you can imagine. Oh, that's weird, the blood. You would think that the, uh, the red would be the only thing you could see. Like you could see a little bit in the jaggy. You could see my health bar. But uh, you can't see any blood when I uh, when I attacked the Kuropeko. Well, this was a fun little experiment, I guess. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed that there's apparently no HD texture packs available. That's what I really wanted to show off. But uh, it's kind of fun seeing monsters in a new light. I still can't get over those rainbow jaggies and uh, the the taco cats all over the base camp. Imagine if there was like a monster in our game with mod support. Completely far fetched. Never gonna happen. That would be awesome. Alright, everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a comment if you like this video, and I will see you guys later. Peace.